man. Yeah, you know that's true. Are you a life coach who's struggling and you're wanting to find out exactly how you can get on the fast track and on the journey, right, to making your first or your next 100K as a life coach? Well then in this video, what I'm gonna be going over is exactly why no one cares exactly what you do as a life coach and we're specifically gonna be going over what it is that they care about and exactly how you can find the people that care about exactly how it is that you can help them and how you can have them start to be running to you in droves with their credit cards in hand ready to pay you as a life coach to start getting that help. Without any further ado, let's rock and roll. Yeah. We all win when we all win. My friend, I'm Super Sid, the Marketing Shaman, and I help life coaches and healers make their first or next 100K with profitable presentations. And in today's video, we're specifically going to be going over why no one cares about what you do as a life coach, and we're specifically going to be going over what it is that they do care about and how you can specifically start getting the people who care about what you do as a life coach looking at you and running towards you to start getting to start paying to get your help. We're specifically going to go over what it is that people don't care about and we're going to be going over what it is they do care about in this video. And then last and certainly not least, we're gonna start talking about how to get more people looking at what it is that they care about toward you so that you can start getting that traffic that you want online and start getting those eyeballs on you online that are looking for your help right now so you can be on the fast track to making more money really, really quickly as a life coach. Without any further ado, let's rock and roll. All right, all right, first things first. I know you probably about looked at this thumbnail or read this headline and you're like, what in the world is this guy talking about? But here's the truth about why nobody cares about, right, what it is that you do. I think a lot of times in the life coaching market, right, there's this kind of um, ambiance around, look at, look at me and look at all these amazing things that, you know, I'm certified in or what it is that I can do. And I want to applaud you for doing that. But to me, it's like, you're just going to school over and over and over again, and you're not actually taking action and helping people, 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 right? Like you're not helping people, you're not talking to people, you're not going out there and helping people win every single day. And there's that common thing that I always remember, like I talked a lot to with my coaches and with my clients and our students over at Life Coach Launch, and you know, we talk around um, this idea that, you know, if you're gonna, you know, meet, meet two life coaches and one of those life coaches has helped 100 people with solve a problem and another life coach just graduated from certification school, um, you know, and, and they haven't helped anybody yet and you're needing help to solve a problem quickly, who are you gonna work with? Right, and I think that you know when you look at it from that realm, I'm not saying going out and getting certified is a bad thing, but what I am saying is that um, we we need to stop looking at like look at look at this. Right, no one cares about that. What they care about is if you can solve their problem, and you know, and how quickly can you solve their problem, and have you solved this problem in the past? Right, I mean that's what they care about. They care about the demonstration. They care about what you're doing every day, and they care about if you can do it for them, and the speed at which you can do it for them against the marketplace, against you yesterday and against any competitor that's out there saying they can do it any better than you. So what we want to make sure that we identify is not identify, you know, this boastfulness of look at what I can do or look at what I know. We go into the marketplace, specifically when we're looking to find clients and find clients fast and get the traffic and all the stuff we need to do that um, online and specifically as a life coach in general, whether it's to our website, our funnels, whatever it might be, or blog. We need to make sure that we're not going out there talking about all these amazing new things we're doing. We need to go out there and specifically go out there and talk about how we can help people solve their problem quickly. All right, so the next thing I want to go over with you is specifically why life coaches get paid. And, you know, we specifically just talked about why, what people care about, and we talked about the specific problem, right? So let's kind of look at this, right? Like, specifically, right, there's going to be a goal or a target or a thing that people are either going to want to run away from or a pleasure they're going to want to run toward, whatever that is, right? But it's going to be one or the other, pain they're running away from or pleasure they're running toward. Now, specifically, right, there's going to be a goal that's like up here. And you're going to meet the client who is on their way to their journey to reaching up here. And what you're going to do is you're going to meet them somewhere down here. 
And you as a life coach is going, is going to meet them here and is going to be their guide to help them get to here faster than if they didn't hire you to begin with or you know, and or faster than the next guy that they're looking to hire as well. Not only helping them get to the goal, but helping them get to the goal at a faster time frame or at a faster rate or more efficiently um, is very, very important in this as well. This is a very important concept specifically with life coaches who, you know, and what it is that they're charging. And I think a lot of life coaches are led down a very dangerous path of, you know, charging per hour. Now I understand why life coaches are taught that and I understand it comes from the roots of you get paid for your time and you're 100% correct. You do get paid for your time. However, right, you're not getting, you're getting paid. You, know, you got to look at it from a little bit of a different lens. You're getting paid to solve a problem, right? The closer that people get to you to solve that problem and the more intimacy that you have in that relationship, what I mean by that, don't make that weird, but what I mean by that is how close you are in that relationship. Is it one-on-one? -on -one? Is it through a mastermind, you know, a live mastermind, a virtual mastermind? Is it through a, um, a coaching program? Is it through a group program? Is it through an at-home study course? You know, how what what is the time that you spend with that client to solve that problem? Right? And the time the more time you spend with that client, aka intimacy, right, um, that you spend with that client over that time frame to help them get to solve the problem that they want to solve. And usually if you're working with them and have closer proximity to them in a lot of instances, you can help them solve the problem at a faster rate or you know in a near per you know what I mean, because you're able to take them through the journey. Um, or walk them through the journey, but you know, we're getting paid based on the time that we spend with that client to solve a problem, not based on the time that we spend with clients in general. It, this is the lens that I look at it, right? We're not, if, if I have to spend 20 hours with a client to solve a problem, that's not as good as if I could solve the same problem with that same client in three hours. The client's happier because it took less time, and I'm happier because it took less time, and I should actually be paid more money because it took less time. Whereas a lot of life coaches are like, I don't want to do it in three hours. We actually need to do it with 20, you know what I mean? Now, obviously don't go hug wild. Obviously there's going to be times where you need to do one hour sessions and you need to be eight. You know what I mean? I get that. But however, that's a one-on-one -on -one setting. So if it's a one-on-one -on -one setting, it's your highest price point and it just dovetails right back into my main point. We don't get paid by the time we spend. We get um, by the time we spend with people on an hour to hour rate. We get paid on the problems that we solve and the solutions we provide to those problems. And we should be provided of, and we should be paid through the speed, efficiency of being able to solve those problems with the solutions that we have. Before I go into this next piece, uh, specifically going over what you need to be doing every day, and then specifically at the end of this video, talking about how you can craft your solution so that people are gonna be running to you like crazy to get help with your solution as a life coach really, really quickly, I wanna remind you to subscribe to this channel. I'm putting out new and exciting videos every single day showing life coaches and healers how they can make their first or next 100K with profitable presentations. Make sure to click that button below and subscribe. All right, so this next piece is important, and I think a lot of times it gets skipped over by a lot of people, but it's really the number one reason, or one of the biggest, I'm saying number one, one of the biggest reasons, right, why life coaches don't get traction early. And this has to, comes back to demonstration. And I like telling this story about Peter Pan when I talk about this. Um, ultimately, right, Peter Pan, who obviously knew how to fly, and you might have seen the movie, the Disney movie, Peter Pan, right, where, you know, he, he basically was a lost boy and he was, you know, flying or whatnot, and he, he was, you know, coming back from the Neverland with Wendy. And um, there, you know, all these people from um, England had heard about, you know, this town in England had heard about him being able to fly. So Wendy went out, and him and Wendy were like, "Hey, I'm gonna, you know, do this event, teach people how to fly." And like a hundred people came to the auditorium, and he came out on stage, and he was like, "Hey, hey, who's ready for me to teach you how to fly?" And no one, um, you know, was ready to teach him how to fly after, you know, they they might have even heard about it, and he was telling them he could do it, but no one was willing to take the chance. Then Wendy comes running out, freaking out, and was like, "Hey, hey, you got to believe him. I've seen him do it. I know how to fly too." Um, and then there was like four or five people in that audience that were like reluctantly, they trusted Wendy, but then they were like, uh, I don't know. But then after that, you know, P Peter Pan and Wendy looked at each other and they were like, you know, kind of smiled. Tinkerbell came across, sprayed some pixie dust. He thought some happy thoughts and he flew up and around and up and across the room, right? Landed on the other side, did a little twirl and said, now who wants me to teach you how to fly? And that was when over 90 of the people came running towards him wanting to teach him how to fly. And the point of the story is, is when you're out there demonstrating on a daily basis, you're going to attract more people to you than you could ever believe. Especially when you're demonstrating exactly what it is that you do every day to live the life that the person that you're wanting to help wants to live. 
that has the goal to live, that has a target to live. Now, I'm not saying go out there and go rent a Lamborghini and start shooting videos next to a Lamborghini, saying, you know, don't do anything like that. But what I am saying is like from their core level, not from their surface level, level, level but from their core um, level, right? Usually they're gonna want the freedom. Usually they're gonna want to get away from that pain or more closer to that pleasure that they want. You know, if you're living in that lifestyle every day or you're demonstrating how you're walking toward that lifestyle or walking toward, right, getting away from that pain or walking toward that pleasure every day, then they're gonna see you and you're gonna become a, more of a magnet to them because they're gonna to wanna to join you on the journey to getting there quicker, right? So we wanna make sure that we're demonstrating on a daily basis so that we, right, can build our tribe and build our following and build the people who want the same thing it is that we want, right? And so that we can make more of an impact as life coaches, but also make a lot more money along the way. All right, so in this last piece, I wanted to make sure to cover this or at least glaze over this so that you would know exactly what we need to lead out there with in kind of telling in, you know, this piece of what exactly, you know, your next client's gonna want, right? So ultimately I have tons of other videos, multiple videos on my channel that talk about the specific like life coach launch offer formula and you can go find those and watch those here on my channel. But really I wanna go over this in this video so that you can understand how to lead out with your offer formula or with your offer as a life coach so that you can start getting those people right to catch them in that offer so that you can start helping them and getting paid to do so as a life coach. All right, so basically what we're looking to do is a lot of life coaches make mistakes when creating their offer because they create a very vertical solution or product. This product solves a solution one way and it doesn't answer to the objections. There's no reactive to it and it doesn't give them any reason to take action now. It's just like, hey, I can do this and it's always open. Come when you're ready. Most people, right, like, don't like to make decisions by themselves. And this is specifically why we have the Life Coach Launch Offer Formula because yeah, we wanna let them know what the solution is and how quickly and all that we're gonna be able to help them and how they're gonna get that delivered, right? You know, but then on the back side of that, we also wanna make sure that we're answering to the internal and the external objections, right? So answering questions like, can I do this? Or do I have the resources or tools to get this done? And then we also wanna make sure we're giving them a reason to take action now because that reason to take action now is usually what's gonna get them to take action right then and there with bonuses or a deadline to take action in getting the problem solved with you right then and there. Are you looking to start winning faster as a life coach on your way to your first or your next 100K? Well then I just got done doing a free report where I just dug through all of the life coaching marketplace and I found the 10 hottest niches in you know life coaching right now. Now what you're going to identify in this free report is going to be a full report right that goes through not only what these coaching niches are but it's going to go through with you exactly how you can use and leverage these coaching niches in your life coaching business today so that you can start getting more eyeballs on you and also start getting more traffic online coming to look for you who um, so they can start getting getting your help with your life coaching business and as a life coach starting today. So make sure to click that link down there below in the description and grab your right 10 winningest um, life coaching niches right now and grab this free report in that description. And don't forget, we all win when we all win. I choose to win today and I hope you choose to win by going down there in that description and claiming your free report of the 10 winningest life coaching niches in the marketplace today. We will see you right in the next video.